morning, everybody. So today we've got a pretty busy day. I want to get to it. Um, as you can see in the background here, when I return the S790 back to the dealership, he's basically <laughs> telling me that, well, you know, you should try this. You know, I know you're a red guy, but, you know, check out this new 9R I've got. This is a 2021. Um, I know it's not new, new, but new to would be new to me. Um, and then he also had an 8R, and I believe it was a 420. Don't get me wrong. I, I don't really know John Deere stuff very well, but um, wanted me to give him a shot. So I'm going to do just that, but not right now. Right now I have a bunch of lime that I need to get done. So as you can tell, while you're away, I had the silo system put in. Um, we are definitely down to 257,000. So we're going to have to start making money here pretty quick. So I'm going to get in the tractor here. And we will uh, head over to field 10 where I want to get some liming done. We really need it. Probably going to be an extended day here trying to get all this stuff done. And so let's get started. Head to the field and get on with our day. It's almost nine o'clock in the morning. So. We got to get this stuff over with. We got a lot of work to do. I also have a another field that needs to be harvested. I believe it is sorghum. So let's get this uh, turned on. And we'll be on our way. This field needs a lot of lime to get it back to where it needs to be. So this is going to be pretty expensive. I really hope you guys like the series. I'm going to be doing two different series coming up. One was a map that FSG had just reviewed and it looks pretty cool. I am not a logger at all. Never been my um, uh, thing really on farm sim because you know I mean it's farm sim. Farm sim is farming, but I guess that uh, when you're harvesting tree, that is a different form of farming. So I want to give that map a shot. It looks pretty cool. Um, First, I want to keep this series going. Man, this, this field is eating up the lime. Man, this is going to hurt the pocketbook. I guarantee you that right now. So I'm just going to, I already know that I'm going to be out. So I know that I'm kind of driving around a field, not making any rhyme or reason or stuff. But as you can tell, I've got to head back right away and fill this thing up. So this is going to be a uh, this is going to be a long day. So hopefully we can get this liming done in a reasonable amount of time. I will check back in with you guys once when I uh, get this field done. We'll do a little bit of a video montage, I guess. What you want to call it. Fill this up and get back out there. I am going to end up doing cattle, just so you guys know. But baby steps. I've been thinking about it, and yeah, let's 
start doing a little bit of cattle and I'll do this part of the field first and I will chat with you guys in a little bit. everybody I'm gonna let the uh, worker do his thing and I head over here real quick jump into the other John Deere here that I got it was uh, an 8R it was a 410 gonna give her a shot here See how I like this? Smokes a little bit at the start there, huh? They all do that? <laughs> Alright. So. What I want to do is I want to get rid of some of this stuff. Uh, exactly how much I want to get rid of, I don't know. But I'm going to give it a shot. So, let's unfold this. It's a pretty big tool, so... Alright. We'll make pretty quick work of this. Take you guys along for the ride while I'm doing all this here. I know I should have done this before I started the line, but it didn't work out that way. Oh well. Get all this stuff cleaned up here. Probably just going to leave those trees. Uh, looks like my hired worker is having a problem down there. I don't know what's going on down there now. I tell you. Always something when you're on the farm. Something's either breaking down or The question is, do I get rid of these trees? Well, maybe I'll just leave them for right now. Yeah, chances are I'll probably just get rid of all these trees, I guess, because they're just going to be in the way. And if I'm going to make a big field, I don't want to have any obstructions. So I'll be right back. All right. And just like that, it's magic. Freeze. Eh, they're gone. Now 
Let me square up these fields here. You know I'm going to screw it up. I'm going to go too far. All right about there. Looks pretty good, right? Lift that up. I think I'm going to leave the uh, one smaller cut of the field. I'm going to leave that for some hay or alfalfa for the cattle when I do it. So I'll probably plant that pretty quick. Go inside the cab where it's a little quieter and we can check this machine out here. See how we like it. Nice, it's quiet in here. Lower my tool down. Get rid of all this stuff here. Doing an awful lot of smoking for a new machine. It's not mine yet, but I figure I'll give it a shot and see how she does and put some acres on it. Might as well, right? All right. Over here. Uh, let's see if I can do this without screwing it up. Ah, there we go. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Ooh, where'd he come from? All right. Caught up to me pretty quick. All right, let's see here. Um, ah, I already screwed that up, didn't I? Yeah, I'll leave that little blotch of field there, I guess. And that's all right. Whatever. Whatever, man. Round that off. Seems like the 8R here is handling this equipment pretty good. Lower this down and Clean this up. Make her into a big field. The old owner should have got rid of all this stuff a long time ago. Let's get rid of this. I think I have just a little bit that I missed. Because you know, when it comes time to plant and to harvest, that's going to show up. take care of that. Okay. Alright. Um, yeah, I'm guessing that uh, I'll just get rid of some of this here. Just square that off a little bit. It's not so hard on the planter.
Alright, that's going to be in my way. I'm going to have to make that disappear. Go, and just like that, it's gone. This one here? Yeah, you're on my way too. Bye bye. All right. Square this up, and we'll be done with this. All right, I think that's pretty good. What's up? Hold her up. In all reality, I think I'm just going to leave this village tool here. I'll end up having the balers and stuff in this barn anyway, but for right now, I'll just have to remember where I parked it. All right. That should be good. Like that. Bring this back to the farm. In case you were wondering, the quad track that I had is in the shop. Had a couple of the uh, bogey wheels on the one side. The bearings were shot, so I'm having the dealer fix that especially right before we get into the main harvest with corn and soybeans, which is coming up pretty quick here. You now the beginning of October is when it's all going to hit. So I'm probably going to put this one on the grain cart. I've got to get the planter put away because I'm not going to do any anything with that right now we just got done putting a whole bunch of new bearings in there so I'm just gonna leave this over here for right now and see what else we can get into here oh we really should put that away Put it over here in the barn. Should be able to get that in here. Just back it in here. I should have room. Um, should. Let's bring this in here. There, this old girl up. See what I can do here. You didn't think I was going to get that in there in one shot, did you? I know it's not very tight, but at the same time, I've got to have a little bit of room. I'm just going to leave this here. All right. And I'll leave the 9380 sitting here. All right. I love this old machine. I do love it, I have to admit. All right. Next order of business. I do have some liming that I need to do over here, but... Let me check my fertilizer state in some of these other fields, too, here. I need some nitrogen. Look at all that. All right. 
with here. So I'm also going to need nitrogen over here as well. All right, guys. I was just informed that uh, he is done liming that field, but he had to go. Kind of hard to find good help. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over there and I'm going to grab the tractor and bring it back to the farm here. And uh, I have the field right back behind the farm that I would like to get done too. You now this one right here, I would like to get that all limed and finished and um, we'll do that. And then what I'll do is, is I will get ready to start doing a field of sorghum. Hopefully we can get this done and do it in a timely manner. Where did he park it? Uh, okay, he's back there. All right. All right. So I'm going to leave this here. And I'll take this back to the other field and set course play up on this one. It should be able to handle it. Famous last words, right? Famous last words. Should be able to. Or I think it will. Or fingers crossed, more likely. So let's get this to the field. All right. Let him do that. Shouldn't take too long. I'm going to jump out of the cab here. Let him do his thing. Turn the hazards on here. This hooked up. What I'm going to do here is once I harvest this corn, I am going to turn this into a bit of gravel so that I don't have a problem running into my crops. And a little turnaround. All right. I believe it was field 13, so I am actually going to just drive this down there, and I'm not too sure which way it was. So, let's find out which way I'm going here. So I am there. I have to go down there. All right. Get this down to the field. See how she does here. Now I see there's an auto drive course to get me there. Question being though is I'm assuming that they came through here. Not really a road here, but I'm assuming. This is just an assumption. Ah, uh, there it is. Okay. So, I did make it down here. I am going to pull farther forward here. So, because I've got to get the combine down here. And I will leave this here. 
Be right back. Alright, guys. I'm back at the barn. Get the combine out. We're going to get this thing down to the field here. Get the header hooked up. This thing barely fits in here. I know this driveway is not that big, but we're going to give her a shot. See if I can get through here. I don't think I can. Yeah, I'm not going to. I ain't. Well, maybe. 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 Oh, yeah. Nothing like taking the paint off of the rims, though. That's all right, though. Let's hook up the header. Let's get down there. Looks like he is done. There we go. Looks like he is done over here. So since he is done, I'll eventually come over here and do this field too. I started to plow this field. That's going to be a little bit of a bumpy ride. Those hazards turned on. Let's cruise down to this field. Let's get this part of the harvest done here. All right, guys, I've got the combine going. Got him down to the field. I'm actually going to run back to the grain cart here, and we will end up waiting for him. Left my hazards on. Way to go. I'll shut those off now. Okay. Pull down here. Got it set up to where he's going to do two headland passes. We'll keep an eye on him. I need to open up my tarp. Go ahead. Or custom modding. You guys did an amazing job on this bad boy. I just, it's just flawless, beautiful cart, I wish you guys would make something a little bit bigger because you know, from corn harvest this thing is not big enough, but it works, alright, we'll do a little bit of a video montage for you and I'll see you guys when we're done.
Alright guys, we are on the last pass of this field. We'll dump on the go here and finish this field off. Bring everything back to the farm. Call it an episode. I think we had a pretty good, uh, pretty good run today. Besides some minor little glitches that were my fault, but sorry about that. Hopefully, I'm really hoping that my audio is much better right now. I had a lot of problems with my audio. Oh, buddy, let's go. And once again, another glitch. All right. Catch up a little bit. A little bit more. There we go. Now we got a speed rate. Okay. We will finish doing this. And like I said, we're just going to unload the combine. I'm just going to take this to the cell point right away. And we'll get rid of it. Give us a little extra money here. So, let's finish this off. Load him. Then I'm going to take it to the cell point, like I just said. I hate to repeat myself, but... We'll do this, and then, uh, all right, he's empty. One thing I have noticed about this tractor is that it is struggling when this cart is full. So, as you can see by all the ruts that I made the last time I went up the hill, So we'll grab a little bit of momentum here, but when I came out of the field last time, I had a little too much momentum. I hit the brakes and it took me right into the guardrail. I hope not to um, do that again, but I'll show you what I got, what I did here. Um, and I picked that collectible up that was over here since I hit it, and it was like hitting a ramp. And it sent me right into the cornfield. So, yeah, the one that was right there. I think it was a pig or something like that. I hit that thing and it sent me right in. See, look, my brakes. Ah, uh, stopping. Ah, uh, stopping. Ah, see, did it again. Man. All right. So, <laughs> this tractor might be good for a lot of things, but it is not good for this grain cart. Oh my God. All right. So, I'm going to dump right into the pit here, provided I could turn the corner without hitting anything. Ugh. All right. Sorry, but the dealer will be getting this tractor back. It, it might be good for some stuff, but it is not good for this grain cart. And I have, yes, I do have all the weights on the front of this thing. It can't get any heavier unless I put wheel weights on the very front, but I don't even know if we have those. Anyway, let's offload this and we'll get all the equipment back to the farm and i'll see you guys in a little bit all right guys we're just now pulling out of the field get this back to the farm looks like my crops are doing pretty good 
those should be ready to go pretty soon in about another month or so probably about a good month things are going to start really getting crazy around here Tell you what, though, that's a pretty cool sight seeing those big grain bins sitting there. That's one hell of a grain setup I got going on. Excuse the language, kids, but just speaking the truth here, that's that's one awesome setup I got. Cool view from the cab. Just gonna look under the window there. Yeah, that's a pretty cool view right there. All right, guys. All right. Well, we didn't get a chance to play with that bad boy yet. And hopefully, it could handle something a little bit more than this one can. Because this one, eh. Eh. <laughs> Just, yeah. Yeah, nothing like crashing a couple times. You know, I'm going to have to pay for that at the dealer. But anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching the episode if you made it this far. If you did, please like and subscribe. That would be great. I'll leave it at that, and I'll see you guys next time.